So this is the point in our service this morning where we celebrate birthdays as a church family, you at home and me here. Uh, we begin with Jeffrey Mitchell on the 9th of April. We have Ray Halley on the 10th of April, Margaret Craig the 12th of April, Andre Briggs the 12th of April, Amanda Moore the 10th of April, Lacey Rose Davison the 9th of April, Ross Tracy on the 16th of April, and Ross is going to be 21, Jean Stevenson the 9th of April, Mervyn Algy the 11th of April, Maya Gilliland on the 13th of April being 10, Margaret Nelson the 12th of April, Joe Nelson the 16th of April, Ethan McKee on the 9th of April, Ben Sharkey the 13th of April and Ben's going to be 21, Tommy Marr the 14th of April, Donna Chapman the 11th of April, Betty Gilmore the 15th of April, Karen McCracken the 6th of April, Alan McCracken the 13th of April, Jill Spence the 9th of April and Karen Brand the 18th of April and I'm told here Karen that you're going to be 40 so congratulations to you all. So as I did last week let me do it again this week I'm going to sing happy birthday you join with me. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday God bless you, happy birthday to you. Let me pray. Father God, we indeed thank you as a church family in our own individual homes. And from this place, we call your house. We indeed bless all who we have named having birthdays. Lord, we thank you for each one of them. We thank you this day. We are reminded of how precious we are to you, that you sent your son to die for us and that you are alive. And let your living Holy Spirit just touch each and every one of their lives with your blessing and they guide, direct them throughout another year. And may they just know the nearness and the beauty of your presence with them in all that they face each and every moment of every day. We commit them to you, and we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Great. So today, boys and girls, I want to speak to you for a few moments, and Emma is going to help me. So great to see Emma at home. I'm going to ask some questions. and. Emma is going to say whether they are possible or impossible. So here's the first question. Can a fish live out of water? Hi, Arthur. Can a fish live out of water? Mm, I think that is impossible. Impossible. That's right. The second question. Can a person get younger instead of older? Can a person get older instead of younger? Hmm, I definitely think that is impossible. Right again, Emma, impossible. Third question, can you fly with your arms without an aeroplane? Well, I have to think that one is also impossible. Emma, you're really good at this, impossible. Here's the fourth question. Can you turn your head all the way around 360 degrees? No, definitely impossible. Very good, Emma. Again, impossible. Here's another question, question five. Can a person walk on top of the water? I actually think this one is possible. Yeah, that's right, possible, because we know Jesus did that when he was here on earth. And here's the final question. Can a dead person live again? Well, I know for sure that this one is definitely possible. Spot on, Emma, possible. You know, God did the impossible by raising his son Jesus from the dead to live again. That's what we're celebrating today. This is what we celebrate on Easter Sunday, that Jesus is risen, that Jesus lives, that Jesus is alive. And it's not the end of the story. If Jesus rose from the dead, then I wonder what that means for all of us today, whatever age or stage we're at, that we indeed can live 
eternally, that he can come and live in us because he is alive, that he is also going to take us to live with him one day in heaven. But we've got to open our hearts. That's the conditions. We've got to open our hearts. We've got to ask him to come and to live in these hearts with his living presence, the living Jesus living within us, forgiving our sin, forgiving our past, and indeed taking us forward. So great news today that Jesus is alive. He's in the business of transforming lives, whatever age or stage we're at. And we rejoice in that news. So Emma, thanks for helping me there at home today to help me with that talk. So let's pray. Father God, thank you that you made the impossible possible. That you sent your son Jesus to die for us, to pay the price for the wrong things that we do, and then raise Jesus, your son, to live again, that we might also live forever in heaven with you. We rejoice in that good news, and we pray this and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>